This lesson is on herbal medications and supplements you should avoid when taking levothyroxine or Synthroid. So this is a continuation of our previous lesson on what to avoid when taking levothyroxine, but we're going to be talking about herbal medications and supplements in this lesson. So levothyroxine or Synthroid is a medication used to treat hypothyroidism or a low functioning thyroid. And levothyroxine itself is synthetic thyroxine or T4, which is one of the thyroid hormones produced by the thyroid gland. So it's a synthetic form of a hormone that our thyroid produces. So T4 or thyroxine, essentially think of it like inactive thyroid hormone, and it gets converted to a more active form called triiodothyronine or T3. And T3 is going to have most of the effects in our body, including increasing metabolism, movement, and mentation, the three M's. Now the topic of this lesson is how herbal medications and supplements can act to affect levothyroxine and its conversion into T3 and some other effects. We'll talk about those as we go through this lesson. So what are some of the herbal medications to avoid when taking levothyroxine? One of them is rose hips. Now rose hips have been used for jams and teas and for herbal medicine, but it has been found in some cases where rose hips may actually reduce the absorption of levothyroxine. Now there's some evidence that may contradict this. Rose hips are a good source of vitamin C, which can also help increase absorption of levothyroxine, but some evidence suggests that it reduces absorption of levothyroxine. So you might get a lower level of levothyroxine when taking rose hips. So you might have lower levels of levothyroxine and lower effects. So if you're taking rose hips, this may be a reason why you might not be seeing the effect that you are expecting with levothyroxine. Another herbal medication that should be avoided or should be thought about when taking levothyroxine is lycopis. So lycopis is also known as gypsy wart. It's used in traditional herbal medic medicine for a variety of conditions, including for hyperthyroidism and also as a cough remedy. However, lycopis decreases the effects of levothyroxine by blocking conversion of T4 to T3. So this will actually block that conversion to the active form so we don't get as much effect from levothyroxine. So this is another herbal medication to avoid. Another one is St. John's wort. So St. John's wort is a herbal supplement used for the treatment of depression and anxiety. And using it with levothyroxine can reduce the levels of levothyroxine through St. John's wort's ability to increase metabolism of thyroid hormone. So it essentially breaks down the thyroid hormone and that ends up leading to lower levels of thyroid hormone than we should see, so we get less effect of levothyroxine. So you end up getting reduced T4 levels, and because you have reduced T4 levels, then you're not going to have T4 to be converted to the active T3. Another herbal medication to look out for is ashwagandha. So ashwagandha is a herbal medication used in the treatment of anxiety and stress. It has been associated with hyperthyroidism and thyroid toxicosis. So it itself has been associated with certain cases of hyperthyroidism and thyrotoxicosis, which is essentially very high levels, essentially toxic levels of thyroid hormone. So ashwagandha seems to have effects on the thyroid gland. So if you're taking ashwagandha and also taking levothyroxine, you may have very strong high additive effects. So ashwagandha may be stimulating your thyroid gland to produce more thyroid hormone, and then you're adding more on top with levothyroxine. So this can be very dangerous. So it's important to watch out for this particular interaction. Now, some other herbals and dietary factors that could affect levothyroxine is soy products. So soy isoflavones. So anything with soy could also reduce T4 absorption. So this can be important with regards to levothyroxine's effects. So we can have lower levels than we otherwise would have. So it's important to avoid eating or consuming soy products for at least four hours after taking levothyroxine. Kelp is also something else to avoid when taking levothyroxine. So some individuals take kelp supplements for health benefits, but it's important that you don't because kelp contains high levels of iodine. And iodine, especially at high levels, can affect the thyroid gland. So it may worsen thyroidal function. So you could be trying to give yourself levothyroxine and also you're taking kelp. So you might have a significant down regulation of your thyroid gland. So it's important to look out for this particular interaction as well. Iron containing herbals are also something to look out for. These include dandelions, nettles, and alfalfa. The reason that you want to avoid these is because iron reduces absorption of levothyroxine. 
So iron binds to levothyroxin, reducing absorption and essentially reducing levels and effect of levothyroxine. So you want to at least wait four hours before taking any iron-containing herbals. And then same goes with calcium-containing herbals. So again, dandelions, stinging nettle, and amaranth, these contain high levels of calcium. So calcium does the same thing. It binds to and prevents absorption of levothyroxine, reducing its levels and effects. So again, you want to wait at least four hours before taking these types of herbals that contain high levels of calcium. And then another thing to think about, and this may be more dietary, but we can see this in some herbals, is high fiber supplementation. So anything with flaxseed, psyllium, or fenugreek, these have high fiber content. And the reason you want to look out for especially high fiber supplements is because high fiber reduces absorption of levothyroxine. So the higher the amount of fiber you're taking, the less levothyroxine is absorbed. So this can involve foods as well, but especially supplements because we can get higher levels from supplementation. So you want to wait at least two to four hours after having taken levothyroxine before you take high fiber supplements. So you avoid their effects on reducing absorption of levothyroxine. Please check out my other lesson on what to avoid when taking levothyroxine and also on the lesson on side effects of levothyroxine. Please consider joining as a member for members only content. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. And as always, thanks so much for watching and hope to see you again soon.